Are you one of those people who bought a property through a bond and then you took an insurance cover with the bank, that particular bank, in order to ensure that should you pass on, you actually, the insur the, the, that insurance payout will then settle the outstanding bond. Normally what happens is that um, you always try to ensure that the, the amount of the bond is actually equivalent and covered by that particular insurance. So people take that. You can call it a life cover, right? Now, then it means that if, let's say, you settle the bond, you, you make money, and then at some point you settle the bond. Would you agree with me? Technically, it's a loss, right? If I compare with something else, let's then take some, another scenario. Let's say you come to Shilly Boy and say, Shilly Boy, I know you're a financial advisor. Can you please assist me with getting a life cover? I then evaluate and get you a life cover. Let's say for 5 million, as an example. Now, that 5 million you pay, let's say you pay like 700 in your case, because it all determined, uh, influenced by the age and, you know, your condition, your, your health conditions and things like that. Let's say for argument's sake, you're paying 700 or 500. Would you agree with me that if you then say that particular life cover, let's say it's 5 million, let's say you've got a bond, a standing bond of about 2 million, 3 million. Should I pass on the money that is going to be part of that life policy? can always pay into the estate and then the estate as part of winding up of that disease estates, will then settle, use that life cover to settle any outstanding bonds, right? Let's say that is the case you passed on when the, you're still having an outstanding bond. But flip it in this scenario, where say you passed on, but then your property are paid up, or for that matter, you're just left with very minimum amount that needs to be settled. Would you agree with me that the payout now could still benefit your beneficiaries, could still benefit whoever you want them to benefit from your estate. So to me, to a certain extent, it makes no sense to be taking life cover that it's only in proportion to the bond. And then if my bond keep reducing, then it means that if at some point my bond is paid up, I technically lost those premiums that have been paid. Why not evaluate and undergo needs analysis and see if I really need life cover. And then if I take life cover, I know for sure that even if my bond is paid out, but then because of this nature of life cover, this payout went upon my death was still going to my estate and my kids or whoever I intend that they benefit from my estate will still benefit. What do you think about that? So comment and share with me your views on this on the comment sections. You're more than welcome also to reach out to me and debate this thing and engage with me this and further and ask more further questions. And we can we can engage on these things because it's all about preserving our wealth. Estate planning is very, very important. Don't forget, if you're interested to have a free estate planning consultation with me, because we're going towards December, I'm giving away free estate planning consultation one per day until end of December. So use the link on my profile to reach out and then let's have a conversation about protecting your wealth. Okay, good luck.